Hello class, in this video I am going to show you how you can mount your virtual host or the folder that contains your website as a network share inside Windows. We need a couple of programs for this, I'm going to put the URLs in the description, but these are the ones that we need. So we're going to download them one by one and then install them. So we're going to go here. Just get the MSI and go through the installation. Okay, that is done. So now let's do the second one. Okay, we're gonna leave that open because we're gonna need it. And finally, let's do the last one. And that's done. Once you have installed the three programs, make sure you launch this program, SSHFS Win Manager. It's going to look like this. Then we're going to click on Add a Connection. We're just going to fill in the blanks over here. So we're going to give this a name. I'm going to call this My Website Directory. The connection here. Now, if you are using port forwarding on your web server, right? For example, this is my web server. I'm going to open VirtualBox settings and see how it's set up at the moment. So I'm going to go to uh, network and now I'm using bridge adapter. So I'm going to do the bridge adapter first and then I'm going to show you uh, port forwarding. So when I'm, since I'm using bridge adapter, what I need to get from here is the IP address of my server. So if I, it's right here, that, that 185. So that's what I'm going to type over here. The host is 192.168.1.85. The port is 22 because that is the SSH port. And now we're going to type in the user. This is a user that has access to SSH into the machine. In this case, will be webmaster for me. And here, the authentication method is going to be password. You can also do private key and public key authentication for this. So I'm going to type with password and I'm going to type my password over here. Here, we need to specify the path from the server that's going to be mounted on our Windows host as a drive. This is going to be var www my website. And just going to choose a drive letter to automatically pick one, or you can choose one over here. For example, I'm going to pick letter M. Click on save, and now make sure that your server is running. All you have to do is click on connect. And that's it. If you see a green option over here, it's because it's connected successfully. So now I can open the folder and notice how it is over here. If I click on this PC, you're gonna notice that now I have a drive here called my website directory, and I can drag and drop files here as I want. For example, I can, uh, here, let's just open VS Code. And yep. That sounds like a nice, uh, let's just create a new file over here, I call this test, test.html. And now we are going to create an HTML file here and call this, hey, hey, I am an HTML document. Let's save it. And now, I can drag and drop entire folders here. For example, if I go to desktop where I have that folder safe, I believe. Is it on desktop or I think it is on my user's home folder? No, it's not on the desktop.
right here. We just copy this, or I can just drag and drop it here. Notice that my folder is over here, and if I go to my website, 192.168.85 slash workspace, I should be able to see, hold on, 192.168.85 workspace slash index.html see here the index.html file that was in the, in the in the folder and I can do test.html sorry htm html if I could type huh and there you go now I can drag and drop files into that folder as I wish or as I develop them right this is a nice and easy way of getting that done uh, now I can also show you how it's done with port forwarding, right? Because there is just one little tiny bit that we need to th we, need, we need to change. So I'm going to go to my VirtualBox Manager, change this to NAT, click OK, and now I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna disconnect this drive, and here is how it's supposed to look like. So I call it my site. The host IP will be 127.0.0.1. The port is the port that I'm forwarding, and the same, the rest is the same, right? The path that I want to mount, I'm gonna give it a letter of O and the password. Click on save, and now I can just connect it. And like I said, here is connected with port forwarding as well. If this is useful to you, you might use it as you prefer. Um, I think I'm gonna create a video with FileZilla later on, but for now this actually is quite handy. Okie dokie, if you have any questions let me know, Slack me, put it in the comment section, whatever you like to do. Take care.